we've uh, built um, a rolling 35-gallon uh, reservoir to hold the water that goes in the water table. Um, with about 5 psi, we can transfer the water into the table. That's what we're doing right now. Um, and we've added the chemicals required to um, make the plasma quench, which is uh, uh, sodium nitrite and uh, Fizan 20. So again, we we'll, we'll, we'll just uh, hooked up some hoses, um, the water outlet hose goes right to the bottom. So uh, it's just the pressure of the air is forcing the water out of the tank and up the straw essentially and out, and out the, the green line. It takes about five minutes to fill. Uh, the next refinement that was added was uh, a bolt-on plate um, here and this boom which uh, swivels and this is the uh, this is the cable holder for the torch um, it supports the cable um, and allows it to uh, to move unencumbered um, when we when we run the machine in the X and Y axis the little supports for the cable were all cut on the machine um, and just tack welded on so the, the cable just sits in here no reason to fasten it. It doesn't uh, doesn't really go anywhere. Uh, gravity just holds it in place. Okay, the next uh, refinement we've made to our uh, plasma cutting system is uh, the addition of a desiccant air dryer. Um, it's a homemade uh, piece, uh, two-inch diameter pipe, uh, with about five pounds of desiccant um, in it. Um, of course, there's a window in it so we can see when the desiccant changes color. Um, and we only run the air through it when we have to, in through the top, out through the bottom. I'm sure there's a lot of, uh, of you out there who's going to tell me that that's not the way it should work, but that's been my experience is the best way to have it work. Uh, otherwise, uh, the pressure in the bottom blows the pellets out and through the, uh, the outlet tube. And anyway, that's, that's to dry the air that goes in through the plasma cutter, which is essential to getting good cuts. So when we run the, uh, the plasma cutter, we'll be running the air through the desiccant uh, dryer. Another refinement we've made is we've added a shelf here uh, to, to handle the, um, the controller box. Uh, and of course, we just drop the cables from each motor uh, down to it and that um, that makes it a, a more uh, self-contained unit. Okay just again to show how uh, quickly or how uh, quickly we can transfer the uh, the stepper motor controller from the Bridgeport CNC machine. Um, we'll just pull the computer out of the way here. I'm going to do this with one hand while I hold the camera. Um, This is the control box, and inside we have our uh, stepper motor controller. And all I do is I just unplug it. That's the X, the Z axis motor. Y. You know, I just I just label these. I got the hangers up on the top of the cabinet here. limits, power cord, and of course the uh, serial port. So once that's unplugged, I can just grab this and lift it out. It's a self-contained unit. It contains uh, 
contains the gecko drivers. And I can just put it on the shelf underneath here. And of course I have the side panel that, that fits on that so I can just put that on. But then I can just go access through the top where the cables are and just plug each of the cables in to the respective ports. This is the uh, Z. Y. And the A axis, which is the uh, auxiliary, and um, and the limit switch axis, which is this cable here, which also, which essentially has the um, stop switch on it. Yep. So there we go. We're plugged in. Last thing to do is plug in the 110 and the um, serial port cable from the computer and we're in business. We'll just turn that off so it doesn't fire up as soon as we plug the 110 into it. Okay, so here it is all set up, uh, ready to be used. Uh, we're just filling the table. We're going to cut some uh, 1 8 uh, sheet, make some gussets. Plasma cutter set up. Airline runs through the air dryer and through our motor guard paper filter as well. Okay, so here we're set up to cut out some uh, some gussets. These are going to be uh, about uh, two and a half by five inch gussets, one eighth steel. Um, this is to reinforce the uh, the frame uh, frame fixture we're working on over there.
Okay, so we're just going to cut a small uh, frame weld on tab in 1/8 steel. Here we go.